to our girl Fafa Bankas again, the founder of Lotus International Foundation. Lotus International Foundation was founded less than a year ago. This November will be one year, but we've embarked in a lot of projects to put smile on people's faces. The main objective of Lotus International Foundation is to put smile on the less privileged faces. We started with the feeding project, the key icon, and today we are here for health screening. We've done a lot of health screening, but today, because we are in October, October we all know is Breast Cancer Awareness Day. So as a founder and a from Peki, I decided to be in Peki today to bring this initiative to Peki, breast cancer awareness and free health screening for anyone. We are here today in Peki. And then please, if there's been an issue of breast cancer, cervical cancer in the family, it's important you do periodic checks. And then those of us who are 50 years and above, let's find money and have a mammogram done. The mammogram gives a clear version uh, in depth of the tissues of the breast. And that one is done every two years. So if you do it now, you do it in 2024. And it's 150 cities. Miga Bromba, and Yabamia, the Nedia, the New York, the Norma, 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 the I'm Elsie and I'm the CEO of Rebeat and I'm a great fan and a supporter of the Lotus International Foundation and today we are here to change lives, supporting women everywhere. Breast cancer is a killer and when you get checked early enough, your life can be saved. Today we are here to support Lotus International Foundation in the beautiful valley of Peki and it went amazingly well. We're asking you to come out, support, 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 support. Go on IG, Facebook, in, um, all the social media handles and look for Lotus International Foundation. Thank you very much.
encourage every woman in the constituency to come and test her breast because it's very good to know from the beginning or from a stage if you have a breast cancer to be treated and they will do it for you. So I encourage everyone to come to South Dine, come to 1911 Park and come and test your breast. The breast screening exercise was successful. We had our client turning up for the exercise. We had blood pressure checks. We did glucose checks. And then we checked their, we had an interaction with them, getting information about what they know about breast cancer, the myths and the truth. And then we interacted. Some People raise concerns that as a man stuck the breast, that is what is mainly causing the breast cancer. But then we correct that myth that when a woman breastfeed, it helps her not to get breast cancer. Her, bre her chance of getting breast cancer is limited. So people believe breast cancer occurs only in the elderly people. But then we told them the importance of getting screens so that when anything is starting, it can be detected and then management can commence. We did the breast screening, it was successful. We had a few people who have challenges like discharges from the breast, breast milk coming from the breast even though they are not breastfeeding. So we've asked them to come for further assessment so that would rule out whatever the cause of that discharge is. There were some who had lamps. The foundation will help us to take the lamp out and then we'll send it for pathological investigations where we'd know whether it's pathological and then we'll take it up from there. The program was successful. We are pleading with sponsors to come on board so that would help fight breast cancer. Thank you. Okay, so the process today was checking of their vitals, pressure, glucose, then checking of the breast. They had some screening of the breast and examining them and teaching them how to examine their own breast. They also had a, a health talk, a free health talk as well. And as of now, we have few uh, cases, but it's not really so alarming. We've directed them to the hospital. The health personnel will call us to let us know how serious it is. From there, we, they will call on us, the Lotus International Foundation, to see how best we can assist them. So we are hoping it's nothing that serious though. But for now, we just keep our fingers crossed and waiting on them to be called. We are urging you to come in your numbers to support us to undergo all the projects we are doing. Our social media handle, just type Lotus International Foundation, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, wherever you find us. Thank you so much for your support. And I want to take this opportunity to thank all our sponsors, our individual sponsors and organization. So, so uh, Geo, Specialized, Eagle Accra, Real Bid, the MP, and all the NGOs and other staffs you can see. Uh, Echo Foundation, all the people that supported us, the individuals, God bless you so much. Thank you and keep on supporting us. We are so humble and appreciate your continued support. Thank you very much for making this project a successful one. God bless you.